Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Blender Tutorials. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to hand paint wood textures. So if you look at this geometry right now, it's a finished one and only has a few um, tries on it. So I extruded it down a little bit, just give it a bit of a thickness, so want it look too flat. And the overall process took me about 15 to 20 minutes and I'll record it ahead of time just in case that uh, I will explain that later on. Um, so in this video I will talk through and explain the lighting, the shading, and the texture. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so in the first place I create a simple geometry, a plane. So I give it like a basic color, which is gonna be a yellowish, redish color. It doesn't matter what color you choose. It's just gonna be a flat color for um, for the wood. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna turn off this grid and this change the display to only render. So you won't be able to have those grid and axis bothering you. And for for start, I think I'm just gonna find a textures, which is gonna be my brush type. And the brush is gonna be at weight, um, speckles, and noises on it. It's really nice to give it the uh, the surface a really nice uh, textures. You know. So I'm just gonna import this brush into Blender and change the brush map into view plane. Now slightly just brush off um, with some colors like green color, purplish, red color on it. It doesn't have to be look perfect right now, it's just generally giving like textures, basic textures for the wood. And now you choose a, a large type of brush to draw out uh, the basic shape of all the planks. And normally I would choose a bit of a dark color towards to red because you know the, the overall color is warm color so I would rather have those um, the cracks and like the dark lines to be towards a bit of a red. And now also on the side as well, just draw a dark line to prop out the shape of the um, planks. And I've got a suggestion here, like when you're doing the texture, it's always nice to have a light source, like light source in your mind. So it doesn't matter with the light from the left to right or from the back to forward. It doesn't matter, but it's always helpful to have a light source in your mind. It helps you understand where you should draw um, the bright lights, the highlights, where you should draw shadow. So now basically I'm just keep drawing um, at the cracks <laughs> and also having a nice reference from online is also very important. Um, helps you to understand all those cracks, how those cracks formed naturally. So use a dark color line to um, just crop out the shape. Keep going this as steps. It's kind of boring right now. It's nothing, you know, excited. So basically what you're doing right now is just drawing those cracks and highlights the edge of the planks. Yeah. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to pause uh, my voice. So yeah.
what I'm going to do right now is going to change the blend type to color. So basically what it does is just going to change the hue and saturation of the color, but only based on the color. It doesn't change it doesn't change the value of it. So one cover up the strokes that you painted on it on the surface. So you can change, you can add a bit of a green and red into your texture. So so now the texture is like looks more um, more alive, more interesting instead of like boring. So the whole process didn't take me too much time to finish. It took me about 15 minutes to uh, finish the whole texture. But you can always go further and more details, draw more details on it, and it's up to you. But in this tutorial, I'm just showing you the basic ideas how I draw wood textures. So yeah, that's um, the tutorial for today. If you guys like my video, Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up. I'll make sure to do more and hand painted textures in the future if you guys like. Uh, in the next episode, I will try to make a um, a metal uh, tutorials for hand painted textures. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.